Okay, so on this one, Melanie, you want to keep your teeth together. Don't bite your tongue. Breathe through your nose for me. Wiggle your right big toe. Bad girl. Oh. See there? <laughs> now you should have felt that go. What is going on, crack addicts? Welcome back to the channel. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be posting a wide variety of chiropractic adjustments from some of your favorite chiropractors, some of the most loved ones and most well-known on YouTube. So that's what you're going to be seeing in today's video with some new additions. Also, all of their links will be in the description. That's where you can check them out directly. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button to the channel and make sure you turn on post notifications so you don't miss any content from the channel. Now let's get into it and I'll see you on the next one. Up next, we have Dr. Gregory Johnson. Hi, uh, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson. We have Melanie in here with us this morning and this is Melanie's first visit here to Advanced Chiropractic Relief. She's been getting adjusted once a week at the joint here in Houston, right? Yes. And. Uh, She's still having neck pain and upper thoracic pain, which is, this upper thoracic is what bothers her the most. Right. We see a lot of patients from the joint. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm going to show you her posture before we get started with her very first adjustment here at Advanced Chiropractic Relief. Let's have you close your eyes and bend your head forward and backwards for me, please, Melanie. I was telling Melanie, that's my sister's name as well. That's very familiar. Left leg short by about a quarter of an inch. It's even. Does that tighten up a little bit in your little back and your thighs? Yes. Okay. So that's a positive knockless in Deerfield on the left. Her leg got even and tightened up in her lumbosacral and sacroiliac areas. So I'm going to adjust your lumbar spine first. Again, I've already done their palpatory examination, orthopedic neurological. I'm going to do this left one first since this is the major subluxation complex that I detected with her exam. And then we'll move over to the right one. And then the sacrum, straight superior to inferior and P to A. It's Y axis and Z axis. Now on L5, I'm dropping that straight forward in the Z axis. L4, L3, L2, all the way up to L1. Take a nice deep breath. Mm hmm. That a girl. Yes, ma'am. Oh, you definitely been needing this. <laughs> Okay. I don't like patients leaving here still in pain, so if, I, if they tell me they still feel something, I'm going to go back and get it. Take a nice deep breath for me. This is my elbow. This is one of those hurt so good treatments. You watch our videos? Yes. Yeah. We love our crack addicts. Ooh, that's really tender, isn't it? It is. Yep. Okay, I'll quit torching you for a second. I'm going to redo this test, though, and you tell me if this feels any different than the previous one. Mm, it feels a little bit better. Look, it either feels better or she just wanted me to stop. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Okay, let's turn you on your back, please, Melanie. I'm going to slide down this way just a bit. There you go. Okay, so I'm going to bring her whole head up and beyond her thoracic spine to get her head up over her spine properly. It takes all that anterior weight bearing away. Okay, now put both arms straight out sideways, palms facing up. Yes, ma'am. Shoulders, clavicles, anterior ribs here. He's probably a little sore too. Yeah. There you go. Okay, you can go in my hand here. That a girl. You should have felt that from your knee all the way up to your low back. Did you? I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, breathe. That a girl. How about that one? I just felt it to my knee. In your knee? Yeah. Okay. Let's sit you up face that way. Well, it went all left to your little back. You were okay. just focusing on your knee more. Maybe. <laughs> okay. A little hinky on this right shoulder movement. What does that mean? Oh. You see how it wasn't really smooth? Kind of had a little skip jump right there. Oh. Not as bad that time, actually. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. That's good. Now, this one doesn't skip jump like the right one did. Yeah, girl, you know, get you locked and loaded. It's gonna feel tight, and it oh, should. Oh my god! Yeah. Okay, get the chair out of the way here. 
Okay, so on this one, Melanie, you want to keep your teeth together. Don't bite your tongue. Breathe through your nose for me. with your right big toe. That girl. Oh. See there? Oh. Now, you should have felt that go all the way down. Yes. Good. Good. You did tighten up. I caught you before you bucked. <laughs> no, this is the part I always tense up. Oh, do you? <laughs> with your right ear. And a girl. With your left ear. Looky there. <laughs> So I'm going to stretch your muscles with this instrument to help relax your peripheral muscles. Watch the range of motion in her flexion get better when I do this. Okay. Now, girl. Okay, so now we're going to take another look here. We got it this way. So your head's forward and left, remember? Mm -hmm. So we're going to come straight back. Translate right. Just look, look in the mirror for me. Translate right and then look backwards. You're going to feel a little tap on your atlas there. And another little tap right there. Okay. When you bend your head forward and backwards again, see if this feels any looser to you than the previous ones. Oh my gosh. Different, yes. huh? Yes. Does it feel smoother? A lot better. Good. <laughs> up next, we have Dr. Joseph Cipriano. One arm up. Bring your other arm up. Just gonna rotate you like that. Okay. There we go. You can relax your arms. Relax, I'll lift your leg. See, but even something like that, it wasn't obviously causing you pain, and you didn't really even notice it, but you just with lifting it. It would cause pain, like I said, that, that in, in extreme, like erect or like spinal erector yep. cramping. Yep. It would always be more off on one side than the other. Like the whole lower back would be lit up, but it would be off like on that side. Yep. Like you know. Yeah. So that could have been part of it there. Take a deep breath in and out. One more time, deep breath in and out. Good. Yeah, this is gonna be probably a big release because I mean, even with uh, the gear and everything that you wear, probably weighs quite a bit. It does. I was. I didn't want to talk in the middle of that, but uh, <laughs> the weight of it—that's where it gets you—is right between the shoulder blades okay. when you when you wear your air pack, and you know, even if you don't go to a fire, just having it on, the waiting process of having all your gear on, it does. You know, it, it really will wear on that middle back. Oh, I could yeah, yeah. yeah, that's great. Jeez. Feel taller. Cool back. I'm going to be pulling at just a little bit different of an angle. Okay. So you're going to feel a little bit different, but we're still going to get that decompression like that first time.
cheaper. Notice the difference? Yeah, oh, way looser, especially the neck area. Yeah. I feel like it's easier to walk. <laughs> if you made it to the end of the video, guys and girls, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more.